The Bossier Arts Council was established in 1980 and they moved into their current building in 1987. It used to be a courthouse, fire station, and a jail. The history of this building is that it used to be a municipal building. The theater was a courtroom and the dressing rooms that are upstairs were jail cells and we still have them. We still use them as dressing rooms. The organization turns 40 this year and they've seen many changes and now offer even more to the community and local artists. Now we've gotten, um, we've gotten more galleries, we've gotten a brand new plaza across the street, we have um, our theaters back up and running, and, um, and we have private art studios that we didn't have before. When you visit the Bossier Arts Council, make sure you leave with your own work of art. Check out this classic cigarette machine. You purchase a token, put it in, and choose your own work of art. They even have a little free art house, which is unique to the area. My favorite part is looking out my window. I can hear kids outside and looking out the window at the little free art house and just hearing their squeals when they see that there's activities that they can take home with them. With a theater, classes, art exhibits in the vibrant East Bank District and Plaza, there's something for everyone. For Fox 33, I'm Lynn Vance. Oh, I love it, Lynn. Thank you so much. I remember doing activities at the Bossier Arts Council when I was a kid. Well, they do invite the public to celebrate their 40th birthday and have some cake on Thursday, July 15th at 6.30 p.m.